नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू लाइफ इज ब्यूटिफुल नेपाल में अल्ले जता अविश्वास अशांति झैं झगड़ा भैर प्रजातंत्र को री एस्टाब्लिशमेंट पश्चात लोकतंत्र को घोषणा भे आधा दशक बीत सकता फिर लोकतंत्र प्रति को भरोसा अज्ञान धर्मराई रही जनसंख्या को सेवेन्टी फाइव पर्सेंटेज हिस्सा ओगटे नेपाली युवा अभी राष्ट्र को निमित्त संपत्ति भापनी दायित्व भैर देखि यो अवस्था में एक नेपाली युवा अभियंता टप नाइन्टी नाइन इन्फ्लुएंशियल इंटरनेशनल प्रोफेशनल्स अंडर थर्टी थ्री पढ़ना सफल एंड ही इज संतोष शाह द प्रेसिडेंट अफ टुडे इज यूथ एशिया एंड ही इज आवर ब्यूटिफुल गेस्ट फर द सेगमेंट ब्यूटिफुल पीपल Welcome to Life is Beautiful, Santos. Thank you. And congratulations for being one of the uh, top 99 most influential international professionals under 33. Published by Diplomatic Career and organized by Young Professionals in Foreign Policy. Thank you. And that also means that you are one of the lucky winner among few billion people on earth. So how does it feel like? First, actually, I'm still in disbelief that I'm on the list because uh, working in Nepal, I was not hoping that I would be viewed and or watched in the U.S. and in Europe and be recognized among the top 99 under 33. Until and unless uh, I I don't attend the event in October when I go to Washington D.C. and receive the honor with my fellow 98 winners on the list, then probably I'll believe that <laughs> that I'm on the list and maybe then I'll have an expression about it. Are you aware of the other 98 winners? Who are they? Where do they come from? I, I went through the list. Uh, I personally know only two or three of them. Most of them are doing the works for the first time in the world, in the world's history. A lot of inventions in the foreign policy, in defense, in uh, technology, and, and social social works, media works. Although they are all under 33, and but still, if we look at their achievements, it's it's really amazing. So how optimistic are you that you're going to change the narrative of Nepalese youth in the global perspective after your this achievement? The first thing is the image enhancement of the Nepali youths that I'll have to work on, because uh, for the last ten years I have been training young people to to develop their intellectual level, to get engaged in serious issues like international relations and development issues, uh, undertake leadership in mainstream of the country and in international arena, versus the image that we have had since uh, since a long time that we have been only looked at being uh, a country where we. do the work of the trekking guides and we join the army for some other countries and uh, most recently issues of drug trafficking women trafficking and uh, issues with the passports and all and also not to mention i mean i have to mention the the pro democratic movements which were pretty violent in in the streets which was all over the world so i think uh, being on the world's top 99 on the 33 uh in washington dc i can say that it's not just me but there are 100 young people like me in my own organization who are producing other television shows which involves international figures yeah. so so that way they can see that uh, although nepal may look like an isolated country but it we very much keep in touch with what's happening around the world mm -hmm. and we get to question people from all over the world so there is no question now that you have made it big how did your journey start um I come from a very small village in Tarai of uh, the southern part of Nepal and when I was growing up uh, we didn't have running water no electricity no telephone like most villages in South Asia and I went to a school uh, as a kid with no sandals and I just walked on the stone paved road uh, to a school which had no chairs so we had to sit on the floor we had to carry our own gunny bag in our arm and uh, sometimes because there was field right behind so sometimes we would we would have like a cat running through the classroom because there was no wall and a dog chasing it that was my first schooling like and then i was lucky that i was selected by burankan school to be one of the student uh, on a national contest and that's what changed my life and then when i went to the us when i was 17 so with the help of my supporters in the us so that again was another turning point and i hope after the top 99 thing i'm uh, I, i don't i mean i'm still going to continue what i'm doing right now but i definitely see it as a turning point in life in past 10 years you've been constantly working with nepalese youth how does your work link with foreign policy 
Foreign policy started when I launched Power Talks in 2009, and uh, I involved young people again in, in the work, although it was mostly related to politics and diplomacy and international affairs. Because uh, since I started training young people in leadership since 2002, I started inviting a lot of representatives from the United Nations and from various governments. Uh, and also including our own government, Nepal government. And uh, so I, I thought it would be unfair for the young people not to involve them in the political talks that I'm, I'm producing. So that's how the young people came in. And, and uh, so, so the Nepalese youth also got in, involved with the foreign affairs issues. Why should we, Nepalese youth, be interested in foreign policy? Since, since centuries, uh, foreign policy have always been the the niche field of certain intellectuals but the reality is it affects everybody and if you look at today's lifestyle and even in a village in Nepal we are using a lot of foreign products there's somebody from our village houses uh, who are working either in America or Europe or India or in Malaysia or in uh, Ar Arab countries not just for the labor works but even for maybe for the business interactions and all so in today's world we really cannot avoid not interacting uh, with uh, uh, with other other uh, countries, I mean, there are there are some countries who did th that mistake in the past, and they lost even their own identity. So it's very important that uh, young people in Nepal realize that the foreign policy, other countries do affect our daily life in good ways and in bad ways. So if we get interested in it, if we understand how it works, then we will probably try to support the the good interactions, the good relations, and that's how we'll be affected less by the by the ill intentions of the foreign policy thinkers and, and support the good intentions of the foreign policy leaders. So for our own good, I think the young people should get interested. Now, after receiving this prestigious award, I'm sure that you're going to have a direct access to the future leaders of the world. So how do you see yourself contributing our Nepal through this connection? Um, as, you, as the name rightly suggests, it's the list of world's top 19 and most influential young people. I'll try to see what works that they are doing out there could fit into Nepal's needs and Nepal's uh, richness also. I mean, I want to change that narrative that we always have to go out and look for support for the country. It could also be the other way around. We could also see what we are good at and what we can offer in return of certain support. So I will more look forward to partnerships and collaborations and exchange rather than continuing this old age disease of begging and asking for money and asking for supports. Because I have a feeling that there are certain sectors that uh, we, we as Nepalese youths and we as Nepali citizens also have something amazing to offer to the world. What's your message now to the uh, Nepalese youth who aspire to succeed? Uh, my message to the young people in Nepal would be that, first of all, think that success is, is possible. Most of the time we are told whenever you want to try new things is, it won't work. You can't do it. We are Nepalese. We are in Nepal. So everything that tells you no, if you follow it, of course it's a no. Uh, you don't have to put a lot of effort in, in failing it. What we have to know is, not just me, but there have been several success stories from Nepal in the past. like. Uh, there, there was a young women inclusive expedition to the Everest in 2008. That was a world-class achievement for, for the Nepalese youths, uh, done by very young people. Uh, there are several success stories that Nepalese have come up with. It's just that down the lane we forget the success stories and we embrace the failure, stories of failures. And failures are all over the world. So we have to focus more on what success stories we have and we have to believe in the possibility. So if we believe in the possibility, then we make effort to achieve it. And if we make effort to achieve it, then we achieve it. And why life is beautiful to you? Life is beautiful to me because uh, this is one country, I mean of course we have a beautiful country, but this is one country where you can dream and uh, try to put your dreams into action and make it happen. There are not many countries in the world where you can afford the cost and time and effort and have a team where you can experiment with your dream, uh, your ideas. And let's say I, I dreamt of bringing the young people in the mainstream of a country. It, it got done in six years. And last four years I've been trying to put Nepalese youth in the mainstream of the, of the Asian region. And I see that happening as well. I, I can't imagine being in any other country and trying, trying to you know, get my dream achieved. Most of the time, no matter for what money I'm paid, 
uh, I still am trying to pursue somebody else's dream because they are the one paying for it. But in Nepal, I can afford, you know, to spend and to try out, and uh, and uh, and I see that anybody can do. A lot of people have done that since centuries, and the trend still continues. I hope I can ask this question after 20, 30 years because you uh, you will have more things to say. My life is beautiful to you, but it's okay for now. Anyway, thank you so much, Santos. It's wonderful talking to you, and all the best, and have a very good time. And uh, yes, come back to Nepal with, you know, with the good energy to work for country. Thank you. Namaste.